guys, Toysh here, and I got a little bit of a different review for you today. We're going to be checking out the brand new, well, semi-brand new, we'll say, just at least on store shelves. It's the Coraline action figure from NECA Toys, and this figure is really, really cool if you kind of dumb it down. I watched the movie again. I haven't seen it since theaters way back when, but watched it over the holiday weekend. Didn't go out for Black Friday, went out on the following Sunday saw the figure sitting on shelves and I was like, you know what, this, this is, this is going to be for me. So picked one up and I'm happy to have done so because it really is a cool looking figure. I mean, this thing is spot on to the movie. You can't say anything better. I was looking at photos, doing comparing jobs before the review and I was like, wow, they really pulled out all the stops. This is, this is pretty cool. I love the packaging. Simple, simple stuff open box you can see the figure purely and plainly the one thing i will say is that i wish the names of each individual figure was on the back of the box i kind of sort of thought that this was a, one of those figures where you could swap out the faces and things because a couple of the figures i had seen in stores the faces were falling off so now that i kind of know it was more of a quality control than it is a feature so let's crack into it this is Coraline jones from neca toys <laughs> Now, having played around with this figure before we did the review, I gotta say, this figure is awesome. And it's actually quite surprising. It's not so much a figure as it is a armature, bendy wire sort of thing. It does have a ball joint head and the hands rotate and the feet rotate, but for the most part, there's nothing to snap or break. It's just a large bendy wire apparatus. And it's actually pretty cool because it seemingly mimics everything that happens in the movie rather well the fluidity the motion i'd say this is perfect for people with stop motion aspirations or anything else because it's really easy to get her into poses you can bend it every which way and it actually looks really really cool i gotta say i'm, I'm very happy that i picked this up i wasn't sure how i was going to go with this but it's one of those really unique sort of action figures that is now on my shelf it's different it's very cool and it, while it's not necessarily something I usually gravitate towards, it does open up new horizons. You know, it's it's cool to get new things and try to see if, you know, your tastes change over time. And you know what? This is going to look great on my neck shelf amongst my Predator and Aliens figures and everything else. I think that it's spot on to the movie, and that's what I like most about it. It looks like a puppet that was used straight out of the stop motion by Henry Selleck. I'm really, really liking this figure. Even everything from the detail down to the boots. You get nice wear and tear, the blue in her hair, the nice little butterfly comb. The eyes are great. The face and the nose are spot on to the movie. I was looking at the nose and the shape and all that kind of stuff. They absolutely nailed it. However, I will say the facial expression is a little off. I'm not, I, I don't, it's just, I think it's, I don't dig it. I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing. It's just, I wish it was something different maybe a little bit more friendly or something like that it's a very it's kind of off-putting i don't know why that's just how it is the clothes are removable and to get you know the least amount of creepy as i can the yellow rain slicker opens and the pants are made out of like a nice jean looking material it's very very cool and then of course you can put the rain slicker over her head and it fits rather nice the costume is pretty much dead on to what she wears now i had to kind of go through the movie again she pretty much wears this particular outfit maybe kind of sort of for a few minutes and actually it is a rain slicker with more of a tights and boots kind of combination so uh, you know what i would prefer either one it's uh, this one works just fine but i think you had a little bit more going on if you would have went with the tights version but then of course i don't think the armature and the wires and everything would have looked as grand so I think this figure could have benefited a little bit more, maybe some extra accessories, her bag, or something else that applies more to the movie, maybe a set of button eyes to put over her eyes. That would have been really cool, something like that. I'm actually going to do that myself. So that's my review of the NECA Toys Coraline figure that you can find on store shelves right, right now. She costs pretty much about 25 bucks here or there. I've seen more, I've seen less, but mine, I guess, was on sale during the Black Friday sale at Target. It was only 25 so that is pretty, pretty cool. And it's a great-looking figure, and I think you're going to like it. 
couple nitpicks here and there on my part. Honestly, I would have liked a little bit more accessories. One really cool accessory would have been the cat from the movie, the one that is voiced by Keith David. If you don't know who Keith David is, he is HBO's Spawn, amongst a million other things. He's awesome. Anyways, that's my review. I hope you guys dug it, and let me know what do you guys think. Is this a figure for you? Is this a pass? Comment below. Let me know. I hope you guys liked the review. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out when I post more videos just like this one. I'll leave you guys at that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some fantastic action figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.